Today is the day to finally get rid of this ugly ceiling. We got the nickel gap boards delivered from the Home Depot. Shout out to the guy at the pro counter for helping us get the best deal on these boards. There were a few boards that Chris had to go exchange because they were damaged, but overall they were in good shape. Pieces of dead loss, deadliest catch fans. We'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, you kind of expect this, I guess. When you get this kind of material. It's just pine. It's really thin. It's gonna snap. After getting those boards replaced and giving them time to acclimate to the house, it was time to get started by marking the joists with a chalk line. Okay, so our focus was to get this first one as straight as we could. All of these boards are not completely straight, so it will be a challenge, but if we have the first one down, you don't like my glasses? If we have the first one down, then it should go a little bit more smooth throughout the process. So you're using the laser level, um, not as a level, but just straight line to get that going. So we have the first one down, We'll have to cut down this second board, but it should start flowing after this. Call it a night. We we got to the part with the with the lights, and we've had some difficulty with them. Everything that I've watched on YouTube and seen of people's blog posts, they all use a jigsaw to cut the holes whenever they get to their recessed lighting. And so we've tried that. We tried it when it was already nailed into the ceiling. That didn't work very well because hard to do the jigsaw upside down. So we marked it, brought it outside. And the problem we're running into is the wood is splintering a lot and we're just not doing a very good job. I don't know if it's because we're just, we've reached our limit. We're just kind of tired. We've had to run to Home Depot like three times already. Anyways, we're just going to cook some dinner, relax, and come at it with some fresh eyes in the morning and hopefully we will figure it out and we'll have the energy to do it. So that's the plan. Nice. A little fresh rosemary from the garden. It's not quite a garden, but from our what? rosemary plant. Oh yeah. Have a bison ribeye and then a wagyu strip. Nice. Thank you. 
Day two. Back at it again. <laughs> Super positive and we're pumped. Today's the mastering of the cutting of around the lights. We're gonna figure this out. We're just gonna try and master the jigsaw basically, I think is the plan. So we're gonna put a board up, uh, trace it, and we're just gonna try to do a really good job. <laughs> yeah. That's Maybe. our plan. Our plan is to do good. Do good work. Do good work. That's our plan. <laughs> little recap of where we're at. We've done eight planks. Well, eight rows, I should say. It's definitely more than eight planks. And then we have these four lights that we're gonna be dealing with to start. And then we'll have those mastered before we get to the fan and then before we get to these four lights. Got a long day ahead of us. Let's get going. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, first one done. Turns out we just had the wrong blade for the, the jigsaw. The wrong blade, but also I think the blade was a little dull. So we got some fresh blades and it cut like a charm. So it has on there the little hole, shows that you're cutting a hole. Anyways, it worked well. It didn't splinter the wood like it was yesterday. So as long as we get the tracing done fine, then it'll turn out fine. Please work <laughs> or fit. Ah, it worked. Looks great. can see if we don't push in the board as we're going like that if we were to just lay them flat we would have this huge gap because these boards are not very straight so as we're going we're having to push them in as we nail it makes it a little more challenging Okay, so we've gotten to the fan, but before we start that, we're gonna take a little lunch break. We're probably gonna have to take the fan down because I think instead of, instead of cutting to just be flush with the fan, we're gonna pull the fan down to where when we put it back up, it's kind of overlapping the shiplap boards, if that makes sense. It's not gonna be fun. So I think we're gonna make a smoothie or something, have some lunch and come back to it in a little bit. We have already done what we did yesterday. Yeah, so yesterday we only did eight planks and we've done more than that today. Um, it's looking so good. I just, let me know what you guys think. I mean, obviously we have a lot of work ahead of us still. Once we get these, once we get these planks in, then we have to go back in and try and cover up all the nail holes with some caulking and then uh, clean up these boards. There's a lot of marks and stuff on it. so. We're not sure if white paint is gonna necessarily cover it all the way, so we may end up having to do a quick primer on these, even though they are primed, but there's so many like black marks and they're not smudging off, so we will see. But uh, yeah, so caulking, painting, I think it's gonna look really good uh, once we get the curtains up and it's coming along. 
So we're hoping that we can fit the board there and then the bracket will go up against the board instead of trying to <clears throat> cut this board to go around. I think it'll be a cleaner look if the bracket is up against the shiplap. Agreed? Agreed, we may just need uh, longer screws. Do we have longer screws? Didn't we have to go buy those screws? <laughs> Four of them. Oh, oh. Are you okay? You're okay. We'll take you to Home Depot with us. Noah, Noah is so freaked out that, well, he's able to relax now, but he, he's always done this thing where when he's really scared about something, he would a lot of times hop into the shower and stand there and it's really sad and like be shaking. Or I'd find him in the closet and he'd be like buried under our clothes or something like that. Well, he's found a new safe space which is up in the attic. There's a closet at the end. So Chris put um, one of their beds up there and he's just sleeping on that. So he's in his little safe space now from all the noise. But anyways, I think uh, we're gonna have to go to Home Depot again. Like y'all, if Home Depot wasn't literally like a mile from our house, I think I would go insane because we are there. They have to think we're like secret shoppers or something like that. Yeah, like I, I think we're, it's, their security is probably alerted every time we walk in because yeah. we're there so often. <laughs> I don't know if everybody else has that problem, but. I mean, just for example, yesterday we went there four times and that's about average on the days when we're working on projects. Yeah, and maybe it's one of those things that if it wasn't so close, we would be forced to really think about what all we needed. Yeah and therefore we would make less Mason trips. And I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, all right, off to Home Depot. Yeah. Look at this princess parking. We should just put our name there. How the fan turned out. Looks good. We made some good progress today. Uh, we got past the fan. So we had the lights challenge to start and then the fan challenge, which really ended up not being too bad except for it threw off the balancing of the fan, so we had to add some shims and stuff to make it work. But I think we're gonna end it here. Yeah. We have a lot of work still ahead of us, obviously. So we're gonna continue working and we'll catch you guys on the next episode when we finish it off and hopefully can continue on through the dining room and the kitchen, because that's the goal before we actually uh, are able to paint. All right, so we'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, tell me in the comments, what do you guys think so far? Is this something that you would ever do in your house? Um, I really like it. We'll share at the end yeah. some tips that we learned along the way. Yeah. Which, you know, that's every project. So. Anyways, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.